first of all, you never give a, a, a contractor a huge damn payment. You know, like these guys come in, they want a third or a half. Well, they haven't done anything. And you give them that money, right. they could really walk and never come back. Yeah. And in the state of Texas, it's very, very difficult to recoup your money. It's very difficult. And it's very cool. Uh, if you want to put them out of business, heck, let us close their business down and then get a new name. And and, the, uh, and that happens all the time. I've been to so many houses when I was worked for a hard money lending company where guys were upside down already because they gave somebody a big down payment. They did a like, very little work, and then they wanted another draw. Right. And then they were telling them, look, if you don't give me another draw, I'm going to file a lien on you. Well, you know, I said, give me his number. I'm going to give him a call. And I tell him, I said, look, <clears throat> we're going in this person to money, and uh, we know that you've already messed over him. So we're going to come after you. And uh, believe me, you're not going to be a happy camper. And they go away. And that's okay. Now, this is how I want you to handle the job. First of all, never, ever give a contractor a huge down payment. Right. Okay? Because once you do that, you're kind of hooked. And they, they know it. So the way I consult people to do is, like, it's okay to give somebody, and this is the way I did it when I was a general contractor. Let's say it was a $30,000 rehab I was doing in a house, you know, some interior work and maybe a little outside work, I would say, okay, look, give me $1,500 was in my contract to get started, okay? And then I'll do progress payments. So I'll install your doors, and I'll do XXX, and I said, that's going to be $3,800. And then once I do those things, I give you an invoice, and you pay that. Right. So at the end of the job, there's not a big balloon payment. It's only what I'm finishing. So I am always have you know, incentive to finish the job because I want that last check. And generally on the last check, it's pretty big. It's, you know, like 3000 or $4,000, right? And that makes my client feel easy. And when the job's over with, we're friends. They refer me to other people. And if you give people too much money, like if you're giving this guy too much money, he may not come back. Well, the, the basic math that your typical contractor uses is the um, – the advance that you give them helps them finish their last job. Right. Because they're not good at scheduling their, their budget and staying on budget because they don't spend the energy. And, and most contractors aren't good at that. And so if that's true, that's also true on their next job. Their next job, they require down payment to finish the last part of your, of your job. 